Finally, you've been seeing it throughout the entire show, the amazing Brown Palace Hotel. It is true, the managing director and his wife actually live here full time. Can you imagine the perks? Like room service. Thanks, Estella. I don't have to imagine it anymore. I lived that life, well, at least for one day. World-class music whenever you want it. Fancy restaurants night or day. And your laundry done. That's the life you could have if you had this man's job. Marcel, are you awake? 6.30 a.m. Good morning, how about you? Meet Brown Palace Managing Director Marcel Piton. After a smooch goodbye to his wife, Pam. Have a nice day. He was all ours for the day. Hello, welcome to the Brown Palace. Non-smoking room with a queen-size bed. <laughs> Enjoy your stay with us. So Marcel, what's the best part about living here at the Brown Palace? Well, obviously it's uh, like shaving right now while the rest of the country is commuting to work and I'm still shaving. What do you hear from people when you tell them you live here? They're actually always very curious. They ask me, oh, which floor are you living on? Or uh, how big is your apartment? And uh, everybody, of course, always mentions room service. Just for the record, he's on the ninth floor. He and Pam have a great two-bedroom suite. And yes, he gets room service when he wants it. So do you work 24-7 here? No, I work uh, about 18 hours. I rest six hours. <laughs> <laughs> gotta work those hours if you're the boss of this famous historic landmark that's had lots of famous guests including President Dwight D. Eisenhower for whom a stunning suite has been named he lived at the hotel so often that it was called the Western White House and in the Ronald Reagan presidential suite relax in California ranch charm but to keep these spiffy rooms spiffy, the hotel needs 500 employees. Good morning, Andrew. How are you today? Good morning, Sebastian. How's the front desk this morning? Knows all us by name. Uh, comes in, greets you when he sees you. How many times will you say hi in a day to all of the employees? Probably hundreds of times. I never get tired of it. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Are we on pace? Carol, anything from housekeeping? After the daily manager's meeting, it was into the office for a few hours, and we were off again. One of Marcel's favorite jobs, acting as, quote, quality control in the kitchen, whether he's on the job or in his off time. So do you ever sneak down here in the middle of the day to grab something to eat? Actually, I do, but don't tell anybody. Okay, I won't. Thank you. Executive chef Kevin Goodwin. If I can't feed him well, then I'm in real trouble. That's right. It's all downhill. And with 70 cakes cooking at one time, even the pastry chef has to be on his toes with Marcel around day and night. You hide the burned cake so Marcel doesn't find them? Yes. At the end of the day, how does Marcel get away from it all? This dedicated runner hits the streets of Denver. Sometimes I come up with some crazy ideas, and the next day when I share it with the team, they say, oh, he must have been running for a long time. How far did you run today? Thanks, Dave. Uh, six miles. Six it was great. Miles, really? Yeah. Was great. See you later, Dave. Okay, have a good day. Six miles, right. <laughs> so hotel life isn't perfect. There's very little privacy. But when you add it up, the pros do outweigh the cons. How long can you see yourself living at the Brown Palace, Marcel? Oh, there is no end to it. I love it, and uh, there's so much to do, and uh, I really love it. Marcel, you are such a great sport. Thanks again for letting us shoot you in your bathrobe, of all things. And watch out for those kitchen raids. They can be dangerous. Well, that's all the time we have tonight for Colorado Celebrity Cribs. Remember, you can catch more Colorado Crib stories on the WB2 News at 9 o'clock. I'm Asha Blake. With photographer Rick Trujillo, thanks for watching and have a great night.